Okay guys, so I decided to do a quick little video of a fan art of Garnet from the Stephen Baum week. And this is a fan art of Garnet's first fusion from the episode The Answer when we learn how Ruby and Sapphire met. So as you saw before, I'm going to do this with my twistable crayons because honestly I love these things. I had a teacher uh, my junior year in high school who had twistable crayons. It wasn't Crayola brand, but they were twistable crayons. And I loved them so much. So, yeah. Mainly the ones I have are from Crayola, but I have some unbranded ones too. My younger cousin gave them to me for my birthday. So, yeah. Let's get into this. Okay, so I decided to change it up a bit and make this video a real-time video so it is the full minutes that it took me to do the video to, to do the video to do the drawing <laughs> um, I just wanted to try something new because I know I like watching real-time videos of, of artists especially when I'm doing something like I'll if I'm a drawing I like to watch a real-time video because I get to see the art and it's taking a, such a long time that I don't have to completely focus on the video the whole time. I often watch Joyce on her real-time videos because she does a lot of them for like... She'll do a real-time one and then a sped-up one. And I really like that. So I'll watch hers. Or if like, um... Bailey or, um... Bailey J or, um... Jellybee are live-streaming, I'll watch their live-streams because it's a real-time thing and plus they... they <laughs> it's really fun sometimes to see yeah so hopefully I can keep talking for this whole video I mean I'm not gonna stop it might just be a bunch of random stuff but I think I should um, maybe talk about some things about my channel so I've been trying to put out different kinds of videos like I, I Speed paints is like my go-to thing because I have a that's just really easy to do. But I want to do more like challenge videos, like art challenges cuz those are really fun. I really like those and more of um videos using different mediums like like this one. I used my uh twistable crayolas pet crayons. And those are really fun to use. <laughs> and you know, it's just I feel like it's nice to have an artist use something that you don't see necessarily everyone else using. So it's like, you, you see what else is out there to use. I was also thinking about making a video on um, Crayola markers, because um, I do use Crayola markers, and they aren't terrible markers, you know? And other artists have said that, that you know they're not terrible markers, but um, I was thinking of making a video more of like um, a tutorial kind of thing. You know how like with like Copic markers, you can search up Copic marker tutorials and you'll find things for them. But if you try to look up Crayola marker tutorials, you don't really find any. So that's the kind of thing I was thinking of doing to help um, if um, you, someone wanted to get Crayola markers and didn't necessarily know how to use them because they do take a little bit of getting used to, kind of, because you have to have the right paper. And with the right paper, you kind of got to just see what works. Because sometimes certain papers work, sometimes they don't. It was really, like when I first was getting my Crayola markers, it was really just testing out the papers and figuring out what, work, figuring out what works. And then figuring out different techniques that work best for the Crayola markers. Because you can do like layers of marker you just have to go about it a certain way so you don't tear your paper or if you have thick enough paper but then sometimes that becomes a problem because it drains your markers really quickly okay yeah so I was thinking about making a video like that with different types of paper that work best for Crayolas and different techniques to use so maybe we'll see that in the future hmm and also, I've really been trying to stick to this update day of being Friday. 
And I'm actually kind of proud of myself because I've been updating on Fridays. That, not last Friday, but the Friday before that video was kind of just um, thrown in there. I recorded it on my phone because I didn't have my laptop. And I, I couldn't edit it at all, so I just kind of recorded it and posted it because I didn't want to, you know, not have a video for the Friday because I really want to stick to my update day. And so the video that was originally going to be posted that Friday became the next Friday's video, which is um, the Sketchbook 1 video. And yes, that's cool. I have many. I actually have all of the Sketchbook videos that I have recorded. <laughs> they just kind of need to be rendered and then they'd be ready to upload. So I have finished sketchbooks 1 to 11. I don't have a sketchbook right now. Like after sketchbook 11, I just didn't get another one. And I really need one because I'm feeling, I've been drawing like a lot of loose papers and it's really bugging me. Yay. I think I should talk about the picture a little bit maybe. Um. Okay, where are we? We're coloring her dress thing. Um. I actually... I really have a lot of fun coloring with these. It's like, I love coloring with crayons. It's, it's just kind of like soothing in a way, the same way color pencils are. Because it's like, I don't use them all the time, but they're, they're really fun to use, you know? I've always really liked coloring with crayons. And these ones are just, I don't know why they're so fun. I, <laughs> back when I used them in my teacher's classroom, he only had like four or five colors. So it was fun mixing and seeing how things worked. Yay. <laughs> I feel like I'm so awkward. This is the first time I've done such a long commentary. And we are like at seven minutes, so almost halfway there. <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess I could talk about this episode. So this video might contain spoilers if you don't want to hear any spoilers about that episode because for some reason you didn't watch it if you didn't watch it go watch it right now pause the video go watch it because <laughs> it was a really good episode um so this episode obviously it's the episode where we find out how ruby and sapphire met and fell in love and whatnot and it was really cute to be honest when we see sapphire and all of the little rubies together and then we see our Ruby, and she's just, you know, she's different from the other Rubies, and she wants to protect Sapphire. It's just so cute. And then when they come to Earth, and I mean, I do think that it seemed a bit rushed, their little love story. But hey, it's like a 15-minute cartoon. What are you going to do? <laughs> but yeah, it was so cute. I think I might want to do a Ruby and Sapphire um, kind of fan art because the scenery of that episode was just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. The colors and everything. It was just gorgeous. Like I have it, like in this video, I was looking at the picture of it. You can see my phone way off in the, the left hand corner. And oh, it's just so beautiful. I really love it, how all the colors, and it just has a really pretty vibe. It's just so gorgeous. <laughs> I'm just fangirling over scenery. All right. Yeah. So, um, I really don't know what to talk about. Oh my gosh, I should have like made bullet points, but I don't really have anything to say. Um, yeah. Oh, I guess I can continue talking about that Steven Universe stuff. So this is just one big Steven Universe spoiler video. If you didn't see the Steven Bomb, you need to go watch those episodes. Because so, this is just one big spoiler video. <laughs> um, so, yes. I really... What, are you, what is the opinion on Peridot? Because I argued... I had an argument with one of my friends. One of my good friends. Because he also watches Steven Universe. We're both big fans. We both talk about it. So, like... I was watching it, I texted him, I was like, oh my god, did you see the new Steven Universe? And he's like, yeah. And so we had a discussion about Peridot becoming a crystal gem. And me personally, I kind of wanted her to stay loyal to Homeworld. Now, he called me a traitor, <laughs> but I felt like she just was really loyal to Homeworld and Yellow Diamond. 
to like just betray them like that after being on earth for such a short time that it just wasn't you know didn't make sense but after some arguments some valid points that he made i was like okay i guess i can see what you're saying like after yellow diamond you know talked all that crap to her she just called her a quad and you know things happen <laughs> yeah but i don't know what do you think what do you guys think if you've seen it, I mean, if you're if none of you are Steven Universe fans, then welcome to the welcome to Steven Universe. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk about the picture now because I see I'm inking. So when I was coloring with these, they don't have very they don't have sharp tips. They're very um, dull, so I can't get like detailed lines. I could have actually gotten out my my crayon crayons, my regular little crayons to do the the finer lines, but I wanted to keep it just with the the twistables so I um, decided to go in with a liner to add more detail to it because it kind of was looking like you could tell what it was but it wasn't very defined and I'm actually really happy I did that that I went in with the liner and um, added some detail and on the eyes especially because they were very boring to me not maybe boring is not the right word but I don't know they didn't really stand out. Like, I feel like the eyes should really stand out, you know, have a really bold line. If not black, then maybe brown. If not brown, then just another darker color than what it is. Like, what, what the picture has. Like, if it's really light colors, maybe, but you want to keep the whole picture light, maybe just like a darker, lighter color, if that makes sense. <laughs> And I'm just inking the clothing. Oh my goodness, when I was um, inking the clothes on her next arm, I realized that I had forgotten to draw her hand. And then I color, I forgot to color her hand. I drew it, but I forgot to color it. And then when I get over there, I realize I color it the wrong color. Because <laughs> I colored it as if like it was um, a, like an arm, um, arm warmer. So her hand is the color of her skin, but it's supposed to be a glove. So then I had to color over it and it wasn't too noticeable except for that one when in the line art, there's a line between them. So yes, I was not looking at my reference pictures very well. We're almost near the end of the video so we can get out of this awkward commentary. I promise I will get better at this. I will make a list of things to say next time. So it's not super awkward and just blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, my next video, I actually have it recorded. It might be a K-pop related video fan art. It might not be, but it might. If not, then it's going to be something random. <laughs> Hopefully it's that K-pop video because I actually do like how that picture came out. But none of you know what I'm talking about, so wait till next week. <laughs> All right, here, here is where I messed up on the arm. And see, I drew the line. And I'm going to ink the arm. And then, oh my goodness, what have you done? I forgot to color it the right color. Yep, shame on me, shame. This is why I had a reference picture. And it's right there right next to me, right there. But I wasn't focused. I'm pretty sure I was listening to Kirari Pamu Pamu. No, I was, I was. Because <laughs> when editing, I had to turn... This is like a voiceover right now that I'm doing. I'm not speaking live on the video. When editing, I, I had to turn down the volume on the actual video and I heard myself singing to Kirari Pami Pamu. One of these days, I should just leave my awkward singing into the video. Just one section. <laughs> oh, okay, we're kind of nearing the end of the video. Just adding a few finer details. Um, but, so... I guess we'll kind of end the commentary. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like the video. You know, comment, subscribe. Um, watch Steven Universe because it's an amazing show and it deserves to be watched. The first episodes, I would say, kind of don't have a lot of plot. But once you get into it, it takes off. Like where it is now, it's really good. It's but that's kind of off topic. Well, not really. This is Garnet.
She's Steven Universe. <laughs> um, but yeah. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll have a new video out on Friday. Every Friday. Um, yeah. Bye guys.